so as this happened in the last video I have decided to clean the engine bay it is absolutely dirty and uh, very shiny in this case but that's because there's so much oil everywhere and there's still a bit of oil puddling on the head gasket this is from my little spill I also noticed just how dirty my engine bay is so I decided to clean it uh, the reason it's so dirty is because I don't actually have my I don't know what you would call this in English but it's a mask in Bulgarian uh, the airways here and the airway to the airbox there's going to be a very scuffed cleaning of the car I've got a bottle of water with a hole on it full of just clean water warm water and I've got a bottle of water with soapy water I've got this universal degreaser and a dirty rag I also have a clean rag so these, these are the tools we're going to be using to clean the car and uh, yeah I'm gonna start with the top of the hood <laughs> Also, I forgot to mention we've got an old to toothbrush. The cut of the end of the hood has been repaired from rust here, although it's already rusting again. Oops. Ah. Uh. Um, there is no, there is no other one. On the other side, what is this? I mean, it is looking better. Yeah, quite, quite dirty. I'm not too worried about the paint of the paint under my hood. <laughs> right, let's try the the sound deadening. Oh. Ah, uh, hit this place, it's very... This is quite oily now, like this, it really needs a, a nice degreasing. I hope the degreaser doesn't fuck my shit up on the engine bay, but that's whatever happens, happens, I guess. It's quite no noticeable with these much cleaner, much shinier. Ah, hard to get in these tight spots. I wouldn't say very nice, but better. I would say better. I'm surprised how well the in the bottles of water are actually doing. I think there is supposed to be some kind of plastic over this. I don't think it's supposed to look like this. Oh. What are you doing? Out. I mean, it kind of looks better, I think. Okay. Doing some slight repairs. Oh. I do a once over on the hood uh, later with a clean cloth. 
Now to tackle the the engine bay. First off. A nice vacuum would actually work here, but we don't have a vacuum here. So look at this. So much shit. There's just dirt in here. as well. Now, I don't know if the camera can catch it, but there's a lot of spiders, uh, spider webs in here. Yeah, I might fight a tarantula or something in here. Maybe I should spray a bit of water in there. No, I think it's good. I think the drip is good. It's dripping. That's good. Superb pressure washing. Is it working? Yep. I wouldn't say that the drapes, the drape plugs were clogged, but now at least we know they for sure won't be clogged. Now, uh, I actually quite dislike spiders. Done. You gotta do what you gotta do, boys. Uh, this is quite oily if you fuck just... Everything is oil. I don't know how good this is for the engine cover, but... I guess we'll find out. I don't want it to drip down too much, though. God, this needs to be fixed now, okay. Ah, still scuffed. Uh, this is for the for the gas for the LPG, which I have not used. It's just sitting here. I am a bit sick. I've got some some of those some of the sniffles. Big engine, you gotta reach inside deep into the car. There's just a puddle of oil in here, man, and that's just for me fucking it up. Luckily, it has not dripped inside of the... Oh no, that's not good. Oh. In the fifth cylinder, I've got some rust. That means... I don't know what that means, but I know that's not good. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. I gotta... I probably need to open these things. So, I have consulted my uh, BMW Sensei expert... Uh, about the rust in the in cylinder 5 well, on the outside of cylinder 5 but still not good and we are uh, waiting on an answer the best part is you can't tell if it's oil, old or new oil if I spill it or like the engine is spilling it itself out from within it you really gotta get into the little nooks and crannies. I have no idea what's on the what's in the other side of the engine bay, but whatever. I'm just gonna reach in. You know what? We can clean this much nicer. Oh my god, look at how nasty it is on the other side. That means there's oil on the other end. Gotta leave it to simmer in the degreaser now a bit. I missed, I missed the spot. Right, well. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I'm going to take care of the oil filter. So, big disclaimer this is my first time actually cleaning an engine bay. Not with a, like, just straight up hosing it down with a. What a power washer. Let's try some soapy water. Just 
clean up the the cooling system because we don't want that to break. And as we know, BMW E46, M54, M52s, they are keen on breaking the cooling system after all. This and this and the radiator, these are new parts on my car. I have changed them. Actually, what the fuck, why am I not using this thing? Yeah, this is working much better. Let's wash it out again. It looks better indeed. At least now, I'll know if I'm losing oil from from the oil filter. Let's try the clean cloth. I'm going to use I'm going to use the tissues to reach into the these Oh god I scared I scared the fuck out of me. This thing is still broken, haven't fixed it. Luckily haven't needed to use uh, the wipers. Oh, this is working much better, I think. I probably need to do a head gasket job soon, but not head gasket, head valve cover gasket. Hopefully I won't need to do a head gasket job anytime soon. Still worried about the rust in the... Yeah, much less oily. Still oily, but much less than uh, before. What if we do one of these? Now this thing is dirty. I do kind of feel ridiculous scraping with a with a toothbrush, but it, it is kind of doing the job. It is removing a lot of the shit. Let's. Why don't we tackle the? Why don't we tackle the intake? The intake's quite dirty. But there's a lot of wires related to the LPG, which I've still not used. I need to get it to a LPG doctor, so I don't know how much I want to spray with water in there. Honestly, this is, whatever this is, is quite oily. Is that new oil or old oil? Who fucking knows? We're cleaning out the the main cleaning tool out here. Yeah, this is cracked. Okay, pretty cool, I guess. Pretty cool, isn't it? What the fuck? Oh, okay. It is looking slightly better. Of course, we have not taken before and after photos, but whatever. I just realized that I probably should be taking before and after photos. Yep, I think it's definitely looking better. Ooh. Already looking much nicer. Tackle the front bar. I don't know how much you'll see in the video that the rest of the car is completely dirty, but right now we don't have any optimal optimal car washes to actually go to. 
With these parts of the car, yeah, it's a bit quite dirty, quite quite dirty. Look how much nicer now it looks, even from just one pass. With the dirty. Yeah, these these spots need some degreasing. Look at this cute bubble. Look how much how much this thing cl is cleaner compared to this one, which obviously is not the, the, it's the one that I have not cleaned. So yeah. So th th there you go. You've got one before and after. So we've got a bit of shit right here. I need to, and a lot of shit right here. Grease, a lot of grease. Hopefully the hood will close. Why is there so much grease around the, the headlights? I don't know. Let's hit it with some water. Look how much nicer that looks. It's not looking too nice, but it's nicer. Oh wow, look at that. So now we're going to hit the air box, get a bit of soap on it, and the the, the washer fluid container that's broken. This thing has been glued on, so that's not good. Maybe the whole box is broken, that's why it's leaking. Alright, everything's looking relatively nice. Uh, yeah, definitely looking much nicer, I would say. Oops. I just unplugged my... Shit, that's not good. That's way too easy to unplug. My clips are broken on this thing. There needs to be a clip on this. Or a okay. Try and not play around with this too much because there's zip ties everywhere. And let's clean up the top section. So this thing. I'm not gonna add any water in here though. As a lot of electronics in here. A lot of exposed looking electronics. I think it looks pretty good now. Much cleaner than it was before. I'm going to. This thing is absolutely dead already. I'm going to do one last go with the clean, clean cloth. Yeah, I think for a very. Um, the sun's right in my eyes. I think for a very sad and scuffed clean, this is pretty good. I also found a few things that worry me on the engine, so that's just good news, more anxiety for me. Uh, it looks nice. So yeah, thank you for watching this absolutely scuffed engine clean session. And uh, yeah.